Hey guys, today we are going to read funny comments on Anthony's Instagram, which is the only social media he is updating on a regular basis. Now, first and foremost, let me begin by saying this. Just because he is going to the gym does not mean he has changed as a person. Going to the gym has nothing to do with being $5 million in debt. It has nothing to do with the fact that he stole consignment watches. It has nothing to do with the fact that Bob's watches has sued him for over a million dollars. Or the TPG brand with Trevor as well. It has nothing to do with the fact that he's currently being sued by two individuals. Uh, for consignment, two individuals who used to be, I guess, his clients for consignment pieces. It has nothing to do with his felony background. It has nothing to do with his multiple DUIs, DWIs. It's just going to the gym, guys. It's just that. And it somehow has convinced these people, uh, many of them, I guess, with their real names on Instagram, so I'm not screenshotting them right now, uh, that uh, he has changed. You know, by going to the gym for seven days and hashtag never quit, he has changed who he is. He's a different guy now. Keep grinding, brother. The comeback story is going to be epic. Epic inmate reality show. Grown man with a wife on another man's page that he doesn't like. Crazy. Anthony is blank dudes and scamming innocent people. That's infinitely more shameless. How about the mental health and finance? The mental and financial health of the scammed. Clap. No jail. Tugger, give me a message when you are clean and sober. The king has returned. Why don't you sell that 60k at repay people? I'll buy it. And he says, no, not for, Anthony replies, not for sale. Are you still blowing blank in the locker room? Sounds like someone's looking for a date. Never quits scamming. Hashtag. You all keep commenting like he has low self-esteem. How many comments until you all realize he... This guy's definitely from India. Uh, until you all realize he does not care about what you think. He's not insecure. It's only an uncertain person that needs company in what they... Oh my god. They do to feel like it's in the right... It's the right thing. He is in the complete opposite. He doesn't care for the outside opinion. I'm sure the court is going to care about that $5 million comes due. Never quit. Your problems are minuscule compared to the world's issues at the moment. Don't let it get to your head. Everything is fine. We'll be fine. On a business level, there are companies that liquidate and close every single day, especially during or after COVID. <laughs> Whether CEOs mismanage, undervalue their business, overpay their staff members, spent the money they should be, should be have. None of these people from India like can write. Like you think Chat GP Chat I think they could use Chat GPT and like write positive comments, but I guess no one has that. Nobody knows as they probably didn't broadcast it. Happens every single day and people just move on. It's only blanking money. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine saying that to a victim. It's only blanking money. Imagine. Let me click on the guy's profile. The account is private. A lot of these, most of these supporters, I've noticed, they have private accounts, which is quite interesting. Or they have like fake accounts, right? With like things like this. How interesting, right? Um, hashtag keep grinding. You mean like Bernie Madoff? It's not mismanaging funds. It's criminal theft and a Ponzi scheme. Very different. At. You should call the police then. Oof. That's going to be the screenshot for this video. Holy moly. You should call the police then, Anthony says. Okay, give me a moment. At least he's honest. He's selling consignment watches from customers. What kind of blank are you sm So again. Yikes. Man, never quit. Never quit, Anthony. Never quit. Never quit the scam. Okay, let me go ahead. 
and screenshot that. That's nice. You should call the police then. Hashtag 75 hard, blah, blah, blah. Anthony, what book are you reading? Crime and Punishment. Yeah, yeah. Actually, isn't the... Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. The reason that the first 75 hard failed wasn't because he didn't go to the gym. The dude goes to the gym a shit ton, mad dudes. No, 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 no. The reason that it failed was uh, because he didn't read a book. So... It's quite interesting that he is he is uh, doing this right now, but he's still probably not reading a book, therefore he fails. Nobody knows what book he'd be reading, even though he was flashing the books last time around. Holy moly, guys. We, we got him. We got him. He definitely is failing 75 hard. We know he can't read based on previous 75 hard. And now he's telling people to catch, you know, to get the police involved. <laughs> you know, one one thing I give Anthony credit for, and you gotta you gotta kind of laugh at this a little bit, is he's very good at pissing people off. And let me let me go ahead and let me let me exit this. You should call the police then. Yeah. I don't know, Anthony. I mean do you call the police on yourself? Okay, anyway. Let's go back. The screenshot has been done. That's how much effort I put into these videos. I will make the screenshot at the same time the, the video is running. Man, I messed up, man. I messed up. That would be some messed up stuff. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, un unfortunately, unless some big content comes out, this is what we're doing. Anyway, bye guys.